We're Say Why Chicken Thigh, and today we'll show you our cheap, easy, and non-toxic solution for cucumber beetles. So while watering the squash plants, we noticed some cucumber beetles. So today we're going to make up a solution to spray them. This solution is powerful enough to wipe out cucumber beetles, yet so safe you could have your toddler help you, if you're up for that challenge. We'll start by adding two gallons of water to a clean garden sprayer. And since this is just soap and water, the excess I might need to dump out can go straight into a water table to make some bubbles later. So I have my blue dish soap and to two gallons of water, I'm adding about two tablespoons. I'm also going to add two teaspoons of, um, of peppermint oil. Okay. Ooh, I knew I'd overfill it. Okay, so we'll head on in. Here we have potatoes. And the rest of it is different kinds of summer squash. Mostly yellow squash and zucchini. Oops. <laughs> so here's one right in the crux of all the flowers. Okay, you want to help me? Yeah. Come on over. All right. You want to pump it for me? Thank you. And I'll spray it. You pump. Here, you pump. I'll spray. Come help, Aston. Come pump it. And now that I sprayed all 93 of the squash plants, now some of the bugs have been stirred up, so I can probably get a better shot of one now. Right there, that yellow and black small striped beetle, that is a cucumber beetle, and that's what's eating these squash plants. So I just sprayed this plant down, so I'm gonna wait uh, 24 hours before I do it again. And I'm also gonna go ahead and get the, the hose, and I'm gonna spray all of these plants down with fresh, clean water. And then uh, go ahead and check back in tomorrow and see if there's less bugs and by less bugs there really weren't that many that I could find so basically you'd just be we wouldn't be able to see any so here we are coming back about 24 hours after the one treatment of blue dish soap and some essential oil and let's see if we can find any cucumber bugs so I actually couldn't find any living ones, but I did find this one dead one. Looks like, let's see if I can flip it over. Yep. So it's definitely a dead cucumber beetle. So I would say this was pretty effective. Now, I would also state that I really just noticed the evidence of the cucumber beetles, like the eaten through leaves. I didn't really see a lot of the beetles themselves. I really had to search to find just one. So I didn't have like a big infestation, but definitely if you have a small little problem like we did with these, it seems that the blue dish soap and the peppermint oil and water really did the trick for us. So maybe it'll work out for you too. I recommend you give it a try. It's really simple and it didn't really cost much of anything. And lots of luck to you in your gardening. Thanks so much for watching this video. And we'll see you next time. Put that up there. I know you're gonna, you're gonna spray it soon. No, 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 thank you. So while watering the squash plants, we noticed some cucumber beetles. So today we're going to make up a solution to spray them. This side. Come on this side. There you go. Blue dish soap, some peppermint oil, and some water. Yeah. I'm also going to add... Okay, you ready to help me, Ashton? Yeah. 